Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Team Radiant. And this is Tom. And this is a playthrough to show you the features that are currently in Stonehearth Alpha 5. So we are going to start a new game here. We're going to start a normal game. We have two options. One that involves surprising people and one that does not. We're going to do the surprising people version. And we're going to pick a place to start out. Do you know? No, that's boring. Don't go there. Go somewhere near like cliffs. I like go cliffs. Near cliffs. I like cliffs too. How about, what, like here? That looks great. That looks great. Okay. If we didn't like this map, we could hit this button and oh, get a new oh, map. Oh, I like this map. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Well, the reason that um, I like going near trees is because one of the first things that you want to do is um, get some wood and you also want to get some berries um, or be near a place where you can get reliable food. So, alright, we're going to be looking around here. Ooh, do you see all of those? Uh, that's a lot, yeah. That's a lot, alright. Sure, go I for it. I want those berries. Well, you're going to have to get them before you <laughs> kind of high up. South Donner Plain! That sounds super auspicious. What was it? South Donner Plain? Yeah. What, the second? Oh, no. A5. New, new South oh, A5. Okay, yeah. terrific. Alright, it's really hard to see the Krisha there. In fact, you can't see the Krisha there, but it exists, so you can use it. Alright, so here are our dudes. We, they're gathered around the fire pit, and they um, are about to start their adventure in South Donner Plain. Um, let us start by clicking and the harvest button and collecting some resources. So this green box is going to tell them to harvest everything that is in that area. And you get it by clicking the green button or by pressing 1 and dragging out on the screen. So alright, they are chopping down trees, collecting wood. So what do they do with all the wood? Alright, well, we have this concept of a stockpile. These are all of our zones and one of our zones is place zone where you can store things. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. I mean, sure. I'd like to be able to see them a little better. Yeah, All they're right. so cute. Yay. Yay! Who's that one? The one that just dropped off that piece of wood. All right, let's see. You can click on them. Oh god, they're like really fast. Yeah. Well, that's Irving. Hey, this might be easier. Um, this is the manager citizens window where you can see the names of all of the people who are part of your settlement and you can click on what they are doing to sort of zoom over to them and see what, what's, what's up with them. Oh, you're okay. inside a tree. Inside a tree. Alpha. Alpha. Right. Yes, we can use the keyboard and mouse to scroll around. Alright, so they're collecting wood for the stockpile. And as you might have seen in the zones tool when we first brought up the stockpile, this sort of says all the stuff that you can put, that they can put in the stockpile. Alright, so right now they're mostly picking up wood. The other thing that I wanted them to pick up was berries. See all those delicious, delicious food things. Oh wait, Heart what was that? Traveler. Okay. Traveler approaches holding a bundle. Notifications. Buck up! You look like you could really benefit from something tasty. The traveler would like to leave you two baskets of turnips. I want that. That doesn't sound nearly as good as berries. Well, turnips are small and bitter, but healthy. They're good for you. Right. Okay, so you're building a ladder. Okay, to, to I want to build a ladder to okay. get to these to these berries. That works. All right, so and they're going to go goes. over there. See, yeah, what's his name? Cavan Hunterton is building a ladder. All right, he doesn't know why he's building the ladder yet, but we are about to inform him. Pick the harvest tool again. Select all these delicious berries, and now we get a little icon saying, "Hey, we're going to be getting these berries." Ah, there they go. There they go. All right, I'm going to make another stockpile up here so that they can put the berries down somewhere nearby. And we are just going to say that this is going to be a stockpile for food. Sweet. Okay, so they're going to start restocking that stockpile with berries. Alright, so at this point, um, I usually try to come up with a narrative for the game, like what I want to do in the game, and like I usually play a really conservative game. I like building houses and farming and, and, and decorating with like flowers and stuff, and I think it would be really cool if we built houses up this way. I don't know. What do you think? Wow. Uh, well, it's your town. Go for it. That sounds <laughs> ambitious. Yeah. Um, it's like we're South Donner Song is in a, is an auspicious place to be. Okay. So in order to build a house, um, we are going to need a couple things. We're going to need to tell them where they should build the house and how they should build it. So for that, let me just clear a little bit more ground so that we can see this better. So they're going to chop down these trees. Harvest those flowers, and let us start building a house. So in order to build a house, we go into the build and design mode, and this is the window from which you can click and, uh, and create a floor plan 
to tell them what they should build. So first we're gonna pick a floor type. We're gonna draw the floor. We're gonna draw it in checker patterns. Oh, I think you have to hit the button again. That's it's one of our little here. bugs. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh no, you're gonna demolish those flower pots. Is that gonna work? I think so. Give it a shot. We'll see. Let's see what happens. So that's the, the floor of this building that you're designing right now. Yeah, and I like making my buildings a sort of interesting shape. I try to sort of imagine that maybe this is going to be something that um, one of our craftsmen is going to do. So we're going to make an extra little house there for him, an extra little room there for him. Okay. Oh, there go so, the walls. Right, so this is the wall. This is the raised wall tool. You can have it raise walls along any floor that you've already laid out. Um, this is our draw roof tool. So this lets you specify what color of roof you want and how tall it should be and uh, which direction you want it to be in. So let's try and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna, if a roof is sort of like this, we can make it shorter, because I, I have plans for this roof. Wow, that's flat. That's flat. <laughs> I assume it's flat for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but see, there's a gray area around the floor plan that is where they're going to need to stand to build the house, so please don't, like, it's supposed to be there to tell you, like, you shouldn't have this oversect, inter intersect with other things. All right, so now we need to add some doors and windows. Cool. Door tool, window tool. Like, I like having lots of light in my building. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do this. You have your dudes living, like, windowless, dark. Well, a few is great. You're you really enjoy those windows um but yeah very nice okay yes. all right what now what now all right so when we are ready when we are fully ready to have them start building we get the start building button and we get a little confirmation dialogue here because right now you can't edit a building that is in progress so um so we need to be extra sure that we are good with this building yeah of course right. eventually we want to let you edit buildings after they've sort of started being built otherwise it's less fun but um, for now, this is the way it works. Right. Okay, so while they are building the building, we are going to need furniture to put in that building so that... Wow, can you, like, interesting. watch them go? Yeah, so, look at them. So you... Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, some of them are just standing. <laughs> but, you know, that's alright. They find the wood very interesting. When these guys have expressions, they're going to be really awesome. Oh, look. They didn't demolish the flower pots after all. They put hey, the flower pots on the floor. That was yeah. so clever of them. Wow, oh, guys. Come on. We both know that was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't an accident. The physics of our world are working, kind of. Okay. All right. Cool. So we're going to need furniture. So how do we get furniture? Well, we've got this saw here, and it's glowing. So you can click on the saw, and it's like, oh, it promotes a citizen into a carpenter. Right, so Let's the carpenter the is the guy who's going to make all those doors and windows for us. So we need to choose a citizen to be our carpenter. Ooh, all these names, okay. Let's pick Cabin. Oh, it's night. Look at that. So is that Cabin what, running down the ladder? Yeah, I think, I, so. I think that's it. Yeah, there he goes. So he's... Yay! He's a carpenter now! Alright, and um, since it's night Where'd he go? He's he, gone. He, oh, he's, he's gone. Okay, he, got it. You know, we told him to be a carpenter, but he was still going to be busy picking up wood and stuff, and so, well, you know, now he's picking up wood, and since okay. he's, it's a wooden house, so he can, like, help participate. Okay, wow, look, all the wood is down here. That's probably super inefficient. Yeah, that was that was not that was stellar planning, <laughs> but, but hey, there's all still right, building. Alright, I'll make another, like, wood-containing stockpile up here. Alright, so um, since all the wood is down here, uh, let us locate cabin near this wood. So, oops. Alright, I'll tell him to build a workshop in this area. And the workshop is the location from which he builds all of his carpenter goodness. And he's going to use wood to build it, so we want to build the workshop near a place where there's a lot of wood. Oh, what's that shiny thing in the middle of your wood stockpile? Oh. This is a trapper's knife. It promotes a citizen into a trapper. Oh, okay, so I assume the trapper... Well, of course I know, but let me pretend to not know. <laughs> what does the trapper do, Stephanie? <laughs> well, it's, it's a good thing that you ask. Um, the trapper uh, harvests small animals and turns them into food. Okay, so if I didn't have a bunch of berries nearby, I could make a trapper and then... He would go off and, and make little 
Well, snacks for my for my people. Out jerky. Of, yeah, jerky. Jerky. All right. So um, these dudes totally need beds. So let's start by having Kevin make him make them some beds. Let's start with four. Let's see. That stockpile is full. He's gonna need a place to put those beds. Let's make him another stockpile. Sorry, I've just gone stockpile crazy. Alright. Let's say that you can only put construction stuff in there? Tools and goods? Yeah, that would work. Alright. That means that no one else is gonna get to sleep in a bed tonight. So, your citizens totally have um, energy, and as they work, it consumes their energy. And so, if they get too exhausted, they will just fall asleep wherever they are unless they have a bed, in which case they will try to sleep in somewhere more comfortable. Um, yes. <laughs> and they'll just mm. sleep anywhere. <laughs> it looks so cozy. Okay, so the idea is that we need some beds, and so... Um, oh, there he goes. Right, see? I wish I could sleep in a real bed. I really, really wish I had a bed to call my own. Alright, here's a bed. Of course, now maybe they've all slept, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so when you see these little things that the carpenter makes, they're sort of like little versions that you can place. And when you place them, they become the big beds that exist in the world. And you can use the comma or um, a period keys on your keyboard to rotate them. So you can place this bed. We'll place it here against the wall, because we can't put it inside the house yet, since the house is under construction. And that means one of your workers or your carpenter will go over and pop the bed down. All right, so there it is. It's a real bed now. You can also, if you if you don't want to click on the little thing, you can also go to our place item UI like this. And you can see that these are. This is going to be all the things you can place. You can click here and place the bed that way too. So that way you can just place it from wherever you are. Right click cancels the menus. Okay. Oh wow, so they're almost done with that house. Yeah. Yay! It's the morning. <laughs> just in time just in for time. all the beds. All the beds. <laughs> morning time. Hmm. Oops. All right. So I know because uh, maybe we know all sorts of things um, that they are probably going to want to eat soon, and they've got all those berries. Um, I bet that they would rather eat those berries while sitting down. So let's make them some benches. You could also make chairs or whatever. But I think the park benches are kind of cute, right. and it's not like we could put them inside right now. Who's that on the roof still sleeping? Pen, Pen is muscle. very lazy. Well, oh, either there that, she, she worked all night. Yeah, I She guess. was the last person to become exhausted. We should cut her some slack. Oh, uh, that, that house, we told it that it was going to have doors and windows, but uh, we didn't actually tell the carpenter to make any doors and windows, so let's do that now. The way I like to do doors and windows is I like to just tell him to maintain one in the stockpile, and that means that he will make sure that in all of the stockpiles that you own, there is at least one of whatever this thing is. So... That way, I don't need to remember how many doors and how many windows I specified. He's just going to make enough, and as he makes them, they're going to put them down. Okay, so there are the benches. I want to put the benches over here. So it sort of brings us to our place item UI again. Placement, benches. I'm going to get four of them. Let's see. Mm, it's sort of annoying that you have to rotate each one individually. I know this is a bug that we've had. Or a feature request for a while. We'll get to it. But, I mean, for now, you can at least place multiple at once. So Yay. that's neat. Alright. Oh, and we also collected some flowers. You remember those <laughs> flower pots? So we can right. put those flowers out here, too. That is completely decorative. But, you know, we're, we're, we're moving in on, on making a little, like, nice park here. Sure. Alright, so see, they put the door there. Now the door is in there. Alright. Awesome. Okay, so that means that when they get hungry, they will totally have a place to sit and eat. Or at least four people will. So can you move the beds inside the house now? Yes, I can. So we actually have multiple modes for viewing things that have walls so that you can sort of see inside of them. So right now it's roof up. If I do this, this is RPG mode, and it's uh, it'll destroy the wall, or it'll let you see through the wall that is closest to you, and then this is all walls down. So. Oh, that's neat. So we've got the bed, we use the arrow keys to get on over, we move the bed inside the house. And while you're doing this, it looks like uh, your carpenter is still making those windows and doors and everyone's putting them in the house, I guess, in the walls, which is neat. 
go, guys. <laughs> Ta ding! I really love these sounds that Doug put in. They really make Yeah, fun. Doug is our audio designer, and we didn't realize how much audio made such a big difference in a game until he showed up and started doing this stuff. So, kudos to Doug. Oh wait, there's there's wood on the house. There's wood on, on the, the roof. House. All right. Yeah. Hit, well, hit that's vision gonna mode. be useful in just a moment. Oh really? Because oh. I don't want this house to just be one house. I want it to be multiple stories. Is that okay? Yeah. No. Sure. Crazy? No. Go for All it. Right. You, you you've Let's got the plans. The okay. Okay. Let's see. So when I build on top of a roof, I need to make sure to allow it space for the scaffolding and the walls and stuff. So I'm gonna make sure that there's at least three on either side because the walls take up one and these dudes and the scaffolding takes up two. So I'm gonna add the roof. So until we support formal, uh, I guess, multi-story buildings, you're basically hacking it by building a house on a house. You know, this is totally how people used to build multi-story houses. Like when? Like, like in ye olden days? Like in ye olden days that we are representing here inside Stone. I guess. Okay, so it's historically accurate. It's, <laughs> it's a feature. Start building. Click. Yes, I really want to start building. Okay, our house on a house um, okay, would well, be underway except for one thing. Yeah, well they can't get to the top of the house yet. So right. we're going to give them the ladder so that they can get there. Right. That's pretty good. Okay, okay. awesome. Go guys, you can do it. Okay, so if you are in build mode, you can sort of see like what the intended thing is, but when you're outside of build mode, no luck. Right, it's like the actual world. Yeah. Neat. All right, so in the meantime, our carpenter is building stuff. Let's see, so he made four beds. Um, we made some benches. Let's make some tables and chairs. Actually, you know, it would be kind of interesting is if we could like make some of this like fancier stuff, like this comfy bed or something. Yeah. And in order to do that, we need a weaver to make cloth. And in order for the weaver to be super... Oh, the caravan's the here. The caravan's here. Okay. Hold that thought. <laughs> hey! Hello, South Donnerplane A5. I come bearing goods for trade. Would you like to give me three baskets of berries in exchange for two simple wooden chairs? Why, yes! I was just about to make chairs! <laughs> That's Except. hilarious. All right, so see, he's like left the chairs here, and he's taken the berries from over here. Uh, we are totally gonna have a real caravan one day. He's gonna, he's gonna come for reals. Okay, but what were we saying? I, I want to make these things. Like, wow, I need wood, but I also need cloth. But I don't know how to get cloth. Probably I will get cloth by um, creating a weaver who, uh, you know, right. makes civilization out of, out of stuff, out of stuff like that. But the weaver is gonna need something to make cloth from. So I need to give him something like silkweed so that he can make make the cloth. And in order to do that, I probably need a farmer. Right. As an extra bonus, um, farmers can also grow food that are useful to you. All right. If we want the weaver to come up sooner, we have to like. Yeah. Visit. Sure. Great. So make the hoe first. Make the hoe first. All right. So um, he is making the hoe. There's the hoe, and we want him to make this spindle. Okay. There you go. All right, so now that we've got the hoe, we need to promote someone to be a farmer. Let's see. Well, if you mm. click on these guys, you sort of see like their stats, and people with like good stats can run faster and do cooler things. So a farmer is going to be running around a lot. Wow, four, five. These are stats out of six. Oh, there you Whoa, go. Whoa, this dude, Rogue Hundred <laughs> is a beast. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled all sixes. Yeah, That's look, these guys awesome. are, have amazing speed. No wonder they're working so fast. All right. So it looks like uh, Abby or Rogue. Let's, let's do Abby. Okay. Let's see. So Sounds good. We're going to promote Abby to being a farmer. Okay, so your, your plan here is you're going to make a farmer mm -hmm. who can plant crops, and one of those crops will be uh, silkweed, which is... Um, sort of a fibrous plant that the weaver will be able to spin into thread and cloth. Yes. Okay. Ooh, I noticed that the berry bushes came back. Let's just take a moment and harvest those again so that there we, go. we have more berries so that we don't starve to death. So I heard a ding in the background. I think Abby has become the hunter or the, the farmer. She has indeed. There we go. You can go see Abby. that she's now changed into the farmer outfit, but she hasn't been given any farmer tasks to do yet, so we'll do that over here. Um, so we have, we are back in zones mode, now we want the farm button. We drag out a farm, this will be about right, 
and then we choose what kind of crop we want to grow. We've got turnips, and we've got corn, and pumpkins. Let's pick silkweed. Oh, there she goes. Look. Yeah. So first she's tilling the field, and then she'll plant the silkweed, right? Mm -hmm. And then slowly the silkweed will grow, and when it is done growing, she will harvest it. In the meantime, they're building the second story of our awesome two-story house. Double-decker house. Yeah, double-decker house. Okay, so you've got like your little garden over there, which is uh, the benches with the... Can you go back to the garden? The garden was cool. Oh, our farmer is stuck because we actually don't have any silkweed right now. He needs a fiber resource. The carpenter's stuck. He Sorry. can't. He can't build the spindle until he gets okay, some cool. silkweed. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's cute. Right. Oh, as so night falls. So I thought I saw some silkweed. Yeah, over to the left of your farm. Zoom in. Yeah, right Aha, there. There's one. Right. <laughs> Yay! So this is just wild silkweed that's growing out there, um, which is, you yeah, and it's plants fiber. <gasps> uh, what is that? Oh come on. You know perfectly well what that is. He looks so angry! <laughs> They're running away! Alright. I feel like this. we just need to commemorate this moment, like, because this is this happens all the time, but you know, it's like when you zoom in on a dude falling over a banana, like, it's tragedy, right? But like, at a high level, it's comedy. Okay, so, let's see. Ma the Blatant is attracted to shiny things. What is he up to? Okay, so our dude... He's taking our stuff! Okay, so what do we do about this? Alright, well we have two options at this point. We can let him take our stuff, um, in which case uh, nothing bad will happen, except that we will slowly lose stuff, or we could maybe do something about Mod Blatant. I don't know, what do you think? Um, I'm inclined to do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, is I, not, this is not cool. This is not cool? So I think this is really like, this is an interesting sort of playstyle difference. Um, we really want to make a game that uh, adjusts to your playstyle, so if you are a um, aggressive sort of person, the game will slowly become aggressive to meet you. If you are a pacifist and do not ever want to fight anything, then the game will adjust to that too. So um, if you uh, don't ever do anything about Mod the Blatant in an aggressive fashion, then the game will just continue. By the way, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's going straight for Abby. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really want Abby. He he wants he wants, he wants our stuff. He is wants what he your wants. stuff. <laughs> Look, he's, he's taking another he's basket. He's taking of another berries. basket of berries. Do you never you you just never let them? Like I I, I think of these berries as like tithe to the goblins. That's exactly what it's ended up being. Okay, oh. let, let's play it your way. It is your town. It is my town. So I you know I I could play on peaceful mode, in which case we wouldn't have goblins. I I just I like to. To bulk up a little bit more before doing something about this, but I suspect this is going to be a problem going forward. What's he doing with those berries? Oh God, he's an arsonist. Yeah, terrific. <laughs> right. I guess this is going to be a problem, huh? Okay. I think one of the reasons that it's a problem too is because, like, look, she's like every time he comes by, she screams. And every time they come by, um, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they become less happy because they are uh, feeling like they're maybe... Well, they're under attack. They're under they're, attack, yes. yeah. They, they're terrified by something that is going on in the world. Yeah, this... The, no? Okay. Not, not great. How do we right. deal with this? How thing? do we deal with this? All right. So we have a defend button here, and we have a town defense button here. So when we press it, that sort of like calls everyone to arms, and instead of cowering, they take out whatever tool happens to be at hand. See, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy for now. Now, now I know how South Donnerton is going to end. Like I know, I know where this is going. How do you, how do your games usually end? Um, I usually just quit out of them because I found a bug that I need to fix. All right, let's just save it at this point. We probably should have saved it before we we chose the violent path. But we have chosen the violent path, and, and now now we are in for it. Okay, so I noticed that our carpenter made some chairs. Let's place those chairs inside the house. Alright. Let's see. So you've made kind of a little dining area inside the house. Yeah. Cool. This is a little tricky. I imagine when we have real multi-floor support, this is not going to be so difficult. Um, because we will do something clever about that floor up there. 
that gonna work? I guess that does work. Yeah, that'll work. Yay! Okay. Terrific. Sweet. Alright, so our silkweed is growing. We have our spindle. We've got two extra chairs because that's right, the caravan came and left us some chairs. Oh, um, do we have the spindle? If we have a spindle, we can make a weaver, right? Yes, that is correct. Do we? Have no, He's not still yet. trying to make the spindle. He's, yeah. I think he was probably interrupted while he was carrying that silkweed. So, um, where is our? Where do you go? He's asleep. He's asleep. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, so this is actually many of the basics that I wanted to show you today. We have promoted dudes. We have made them into a carpenter um, and a farmer. We are slowly growing stuff. We have defended our town from its very first goblin incursion. Um, we've made some beds and some, some a double-decker house for people um, and decorated our little garden area a little bit. Uh, we are a far ways away from building houses all the way to the top of the structure, um, but this is pretty good, I think, for one day. Well, I, you have a budding settlement, which is not bad. For three days. And, wow, people have lots to say. They have lots to say. Um, you know, they, they tend to, to talk about things that they like and that they dislike, and uh, whenever that, that raises or lowers their happiness. So. Can you uh, drop out of, yeah, let's see what, uh, what the double-decker house looks like. And Yeah, so the carpenter's got some work to do. He's got to finish making those windows and, and slot them in. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good progress. I think he's stuck. Is he stuck? Just, yeah, because like, I don't think he can find the, oops, sorry. I don't think he can find the, uh, the silkweed. The silkweed that's stuck on a ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me pause for a sec. Okay. Um, let me see. So how do we get rid of it? Well, you nuke it. just nuke it for now. Remove it. Um, I would really like him to put some benches and lanterns around our town. Let's have him make four lanterns. Um, um make a wall lantern too. A wall lantern? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Carpenter sign, since we have a carpenter. Um, and I want to put some benches on the top of that house. Okay. So that's what the carpenter's doing. Farmer over here. Ooh, what is that? More farms. More food. Pumpkins. Why not? Okay. I guess we could actually have them build another house if we wanted now. Yeah, why not? How about one? Um. Oh, you. Right. You're building your path to the top of the mountain. Go for it. Oh well. What? Did you have a suggestion? We could totally yeah. do that too. I was just going to suggest one near your wood stockpile, just because it would seem would, more efficient. Yeah, that would provide for visual distinction. <laughs> Let's see, maybe the one near the wood stockpile can be the carpenter's house. Oh, that's good. Since the carpenter will just visual You're making it a logish cabin. Yeah, exactly. All right, we're still good on the trees there. We're gonna put. Is that a? Yeah, uh, it's supposed to be thatch. Yeah. Let's just go for more logs. More logs. The log look. Yeah. Maybe three. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that'll still leave me enough room to add a cupola if I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a cupola if it's like, you know... Well, okay, so it's not really because it, it'd be missing the, the part where it looks like it's going up. He'd get artistic with his windows. You really, really like windows. Go for it. Alright. Yes. Confirmed. Alright, there we go. And they get right to work. Yay! Well, except for this dude. Yeah. Roke. So Roke is... Alright, whatever. We got bugs. 
Ah, but you can see that the silkweed is coming up now. There we go. Yeah. And those are what, turnips next to them? This is corn. Oh, corn, you only corn, yeah. okay. Well, so the, the logic for me behind that is that if you can find a place with lots of berries, um, berries will serve as the basis for your food economy until your slow growing crops come in. Mm -hmm. um, there's three kinds of crops right now. Uh, I think turnips, corn, and pumpkins. And turnips have a one day turnaround, so you get food almost immediately. But that means that there's a time sink because your farmer is constantly harvesting turnips and it makes it harder for them to harvest the, the other crops if you have a large field. So if you can somehow afford to manage to hold out um, for the, the corn, which has a much longer, I think it's five or seven day turnaround, then you just have a much more efficient carpenter, a uh, much more efficient food system. Cool. Yay, all right. Yeah, there they go, building. There they go, they're building. Our carpenter's house. So what's our carpenter doing? I think I want him to make Right now he's making chairs. Yeah. Then he'll move on to lanterns. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So we're at a pretty good place. So that means that we can probably speed up time. Let's work. Fast forward. Yeah. Boom. All right. So now they're working. Well, the, they're they're working at the same speed, but the game is running twice as fast. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a handy feature. Yes. Do we have any more flowers? I thought I told them to get more flowers. Oh we yeah, you got one flowers. more. Oh yeah, that great. That sort of finishes off your little park there. That's cool. Oh, this is an interesting like little shot. You can see sort of the the chain of production where yeah. you know, on the on the right they're building the the house from the wood and the carpenters making these goods from the wood and yeah, it's neat stuff. Um Yeah. So it looks like he's gotten to some of the lanterns. Where do you want to put those? Mm, that's a good question. All right, well, one thing that I've seen that I really like is when people put lanterns like to sort of denote paths. Since yeah. we don't have roads yet, but that just always looks really picturesque to me. Huh. So it's like, look, you can come up here. Whoa, this is super exciting. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, OK. A farmer would like to join South Daughter Plane. <laughs> Yay! Fiona Mott has joined South Donner Plane. If we click here, we'll like zoom toward her. I guess that must be her. There she goes. There she and goes. she immediately gets to work putting wood in a stockpile. Right. Because right. there's no farming tasks for her right now. Probably because right. all these, these dudes are growing, so. Yeah. So where'd she go now? She's, oh, she's, 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 over here. she's cleaning she's, up. She's cleaning up. So, you know, when. She's conscientious. When you don't have a lot of work to do, you go through and you, you make the. Oops, that was not right. Move. You wanted to harvest? Uh, make another farm, yeah. okay. Well, because we have more farmers, so now we can really amp up our, our farming economy. Let's see. How about more corn? More corn. See, now they're both going... Oh, neat. Yeah. So they're cooperating. They cooperate. Yeah, that's cool. Just like the workers cooperate on the house. <laughs> yeah, you go. Oh, look, our silkweeds come in. Maybe drop back to normal speed. Oh, there that she goes. Paused. Ta -da. So they're harvesting the silkweed. Nice. And this is what uh, our carpenter will use to make the spindle. And then we'll use the spindle to make the weaver. And then the weaver will use the silkweed to make, ultimately, cloth. Yes, which we will then use to make comfier furniture because right. all of our people are still sleeping on the ground. All right, so while staring at the silkweed, we can go over here and tell the carpenter, hey, I want you to make that spindle now. Craft one, please. All right. Sweet. I actually really like this window. Like, I, I like how you can just see all your dudes at once, and I like how you can see their, their attributes and their morale and all, all the stuff that's going on with them. Why, thank you. Um, and you can just, like, you can swap between them and, you know, admire their, their awesome stats and their equipment. Yeah, and ultimately, um, so this, it won't just be for show. There'll be gear that you can use um, to upgrade all your little guys. Which we can do, actually. We can show you if uh, we manage to make yeah, the weaver. Have, yeah, right. So the weaver's role, just to preview, is to make sort of cloth decorations, but also to make new armor and outfits for your workers that, and all of your uh, citizens that make them basically do their work better. It's an upgrade. We'll get there. I prom Oh, wow. It's an outdoor patio? Yeah. You're, you're going there? All right. Do it. All right, so see, like, there's a ladder here. They're gonna, we're gonna have some some benches up here. Maybe, maybe we can put some fences up there so people don't fall off. Is that gonna work? I've never done that. Before. You've never done that. <laughs> I 
thought it said in the release notes that we have fences. Oh, the fences work. I've never put them on roofs. Let's start here. Alright. Hmm, according to that, we have some wall mounted lanterns. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can maybe? put those down? Oh, yeah, hurry. So see, these are wall wood. Night is about to fall. That's okay. We've got bugs. Alright, so see, like, there's gonna be a lantern. They're gonna try to put it up there. We have another. We have two lanterns, so we can actually put one somewhere else. Maybe we'll save that. We can put it here, actually. Yeah, on the side. That's that's neat. So, ta da! Alright. Oh, we have more flowers. <laughs> I'll put those on my roof patio, too. Ah, and you know, so we've got this ladder here, um, but actually, if I put a food stockpile up here... Oh, don't put a stockpile up. No, it's gonna ruin the patio. It's not gonna ruin the patio. Just watch. Okay. None, only food and drink. Uh, so now it's like there's a cooler on the patio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can get behind that. Oh, check out your lanterns over there by the ladder. Ooh, yeah. those look good. Yeah, yeah I want one of those for my patio too. Your, this patio is getting out of control. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so awesome. Like, the one person who lives up here is going to get, like, you know, this, this awesome patio all to themselves. It's the good rent. Oh, wait, oh, there's the. Spindle. Yeah, the spindle. Alright, so we can promote the person either through here or using the spindle. Let's see. Roke Wester, you are now the weaver. Oh, there it goes. That was fast. <gasps> These sound effects are so cool. Alright, oh, look! My uh, farmers are idle. No, they, they saw that we were watching, so then they went to work. Um, Alright, so where should the weaver's workshop be? Let's see. Uh, why don't you put it in the, uh, in, in the, the penthouse? Pen <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Alright, that's actually really good because the silkweed is right here, so the weaver will have plenty of access to the silkweed. So. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Alright. So where does Roke sleep? Where does okay. he sleep? Yeah. Like, if he has a bed. Uh, oh wow, there you go. He's People leader, using right? those beds. Like, ideally you'd want to give him a bed. And We're just going to take the bed that he has. Oh, wait. How do you know it was his bed? He's sleeping in it. That's not him. He's the weaver. Oh, he is the weaver. Alright, there you go. Yeah, so every Wait, did you take his bed out from under him? Well, yes, that does work. We do have an auto test for that. The bed theft auto test. Um. Okay, cool deal. Continue. Assuming someone ever figures out where to do or how to do it. But anyway, yeah, so um, people claim beds when they... People claim beds when they sleep on them, so only that person then goes to sleep on the bed. Alright, so we have... Oh, look, someone is taking the weaver's wait, wait. bed. Go ahead and unpause. Unpause. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, if we are lucky, then we are taking the weaver's bed and we're putting it next to the weaver's workshop so that he can sleep where he works. Awesome. And then it he's looks like a, a stockpile. he's building his workshop now. Is he? Oh, wow. You've yeah, so the workshop required one fiber and one wood resource. So let's see, we want this to be a silkweed and weaver related workshop. So I'm going to say that it only takes wood and fiber Plants. resources. Yeah, okay. There's not there be a plus, oh, whatever. Hmm? Yeah, okay. And that looks good. It should allow for construction materials and woven goods, weapons, and armor. Alright, that should be sufficient. Oh, there, he's built his workshop. Yay! There it is. Alright, he wants curtains for all these windows. <laughs> Alright, that's maybe jumping the gun a bit. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at the weaver. He um, can make thread, and every thread he makes is from one fiber. He can make cloth, and each piece of cloth requires three thread. 
So one clever way that you can set this up is you can say, all right, hey Weaver, please maintain three thread in the stockpile. And then please maintain two bolts of cloth in the stockpile. So every time um, he has enough thread, he will make cloth, and then he will go get more thread and make more thread, and then he will make more cloth. And then when he has enough cloth, um, he can do something cool, like make this upgraded worker outfit, which takes conveniently two cloth. And it makes your workers run faster, so that's generally useful. Okay. Sounds good. And there he goes. So there he goes. So who's the Maybe interloper? For a while. <laughs> Rogue Hunter Tim. See, maybe they're they're well, they're not brothers. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> both same first name, not last name. Yeah. Time. So Rogue must have nothing to do. Got yeah, chopped out right. a tree or something. Oh my God, they're all idle. Oh, because this house is finished. Is it really? That's exciting. Yes, it is really Try finished. Yeah, there we go. Yay. Hey, great. Um, what's the deal with our carpenter? Our carpenter is probably. Oh, he's, yeah. Because he's done with, like, basically, as they put in windows, he's going to be making windows. Oh. Why did you just jack up a lot of windows, since we know we need ten? Okay. <laughs> right Alright, so what else do we want? Uh, let's have a carpenter sign. Oh, because it's his house and a weaver, a weaver sign. sign. That's cool. Alright, All right, we had the fences. We were going to put the fences... Wow. You know what? We actually really, we need some beds. So after that, hopefully... More beds? Yeah. Oh, oh, comfy beds, but we, we're not even close to having cloth. Okay. Maybe by the time that we are done with all these things, we'll have some cloth. Okay. So, let me save. It's actually super important to save often, <laughs> um, because this is an alpha and unexpected things happen all the time. Oh, you're building your, your little retaining fence around the patio. Yeah. Why not? Mm. One more. They're going to intersect a little strangely. But that's probably okay. Alright, so we are working on the fence around the patio. This will prevent people from falling off the patio during crazy pool parties. <laughs> Roof parties. These guys. Look, the windows are slowly coming in. Yeah. Oh, more berries. Oh, and there are your pumpkins. Oh my god, those pumpkins look really good. They're harvesting the pumpkins. Yes. So it's a little bit tedious to go back to the berry bushes and constantly reharvest them, but mm -hmm. of course that's by design. It's free food. Um, but we expect that to be sort of a, a bootstrap crop and then um, we want you to get most of your food either through farming or trapping or something like that. Okay, so here's here's our carpenter's house coming along nicely. Maybe move his workshop inside his house now? Yeah. In the corner here. And then we're going to give him... Oops. We're gonna give him a stockpile. So this is going to be a wood-related stockpile. Mm-hmm. Um, and Crafted construction stuff. things, yeah. tools and goods, weapons and armor. Okay. Great. <laughs> wow. Who is that zipping by the screen? The, the girl with the wood. The girl she was, with the wood. She was like really fast. Pen Lussell. What are her stats? I think she's got awesome stats. Yeah, five body. Okay. Yeah. She was just particularly fast. It was kind of crazy. The carpenter is so fast. Oh, well. Wow. This stuff. There's See? our first comfy bed. See? It's amazing. <laughs> All right. I want to put up a sign so that everyone knows this is the carpenter's house. So there's Weaver Carpenter's wall uh, sign. There you go. Yeah. Alright. Spiffy. Alright, so first comfy bed. Let's see. I actually don't know which bed the carpenter is using if he's using a bed at this point. Yeah, I know. So that's okay. We'll just place the bed here maybe, since I know there was room for a bed in this corner.
so it gets the nice bed. <laughs> oh, look, they're, they're eating. They're eating together. Cool. Yeah, your little dining room set has worked, and they're enjoying <laughs> some pumpkin and some berries. Yeah. That's pretty neat. We really have more chairs. We could use more chairs. Maybe put one at the head and one at the other head of the yeah, table. That's a good idea. <laughs> Whoa, a traitor. That's exciting. Yeah, go see what he wanted. I am just passing through, but even I can see you have a skilled crafter. If you make me three wooden do- we'll eventually make yeah, this Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in three days and get you four curtains. Okay, oh, that sounds like a good cool. deal. Alright, we will accept this mission. I'll be back in 72 hours. Okay, so that means that we want our carpenter to make three wooden door. Quite quickly. Well, three days is yeah. a good amount of time. He's good. But maybe prioritize them above the beds, because yeah, who yeah. knows how long it'll take us to get all that cloth. Exactly. And the weaver is just like going away. Yeah, yeah he's, he's just churning out cloth yeah. all by himself. Let's Great. see how close is he. I feel like he's not close to this because the carpenter yeah, has been the... stealing his <laughs> bolts of cloth. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like it's like, oh no, I just have one bolt of cloth, I'd better make more thread. And then the carpenter comes by and it's just like, this is my jelly roll or whatever. Um, it's my cloth thing. Alright, sorry. Okay, so the silkweed's going, the farm production's going. Our second generation of pumpkins. Yeah. Our first generation of corn. Right, still. Still be corn. Why don't so? we clear away the forest towards that next cliff bank? Ever make progress towards the, the, the mountain. mountain heights yeah. that I want? Alright, let's see. Maybe like this? Yeah, sure, that's great. Um, and they'll probably add all that wood to that stockpile. Yeah. Okay, so that was the other thing, actually. So the carpenters moved, so we can probably remove the stockpile. Um, that way, if uh, certain people come and want to steal our stuff, then they will be forced to go indoors to get it, and maybe we will more likely be able to catch them at a choke point. Cool. Yeah. One thing that is dangerous about removing stockpiles is that the trader and the place item UI can actually only see things that are in stockpiles at the moment. So um, if your stuff isn't in a stockpile, so for example if I made the three wooden doors but they weren't in a stockpile, the trader will come back and he'll be like, where are your doors? I can't see them. Um, he's sort of stockpile-centric blind, so right. that is a, a current limitation. Wow, they chopped, they deforest. Yeah, that was fast. Really yeah. fast. Pop up another house in there. Yeah, okay. Let's see. So one feature as we're talking about building that we will add um, as quickly as we can um, is the ability to, once you've designed something, sort of save it as like a template and then you can stamp it out multiple times. Um, so you can build up your own little library of custom buildings. Uh, yeah. Exactly what Tom said. Boop. Right. For now, you design each building one by one. Oh wow, that's gonna be. <laughs> it's a very modern house. Yeah, it's a, it's a little <laughs> too modern. Why don't we go? Yeah, it's only a more traditional. Let's have one with a high roof. Okay. Yeah. Oops, not that one. Gosh, okay, how about that? Sure. That looks sufficiently. I just have this this dilemma. It's like, do I put the door in the place, you know, like that protrudes, or like, how do I like my dormer windows? <laughs> Is that too asymmetrical? Yeah, that's that's that you, that's gonna bother you. Yeah, that that really trips me out. Yeah, that that's <laughs> it's, it's still asymmetrical. Here, undo twice. Now put them one inset. Yeah, that's one good. Okay. Yeah, and then all the way over as far as you can. Yeah. See? That's, oh. that's so much. No, if only... Man, okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm happy good. with fewer windows. Fewer windows. <laughs> okay. Alright. 
There you go. Yay! Okay. Okay, start building. We should have chimneys. We should have chimneys. Put it on the list. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, what is making this house look not like, you know, a cottage? Okay, so our carpenter is, he's got his own little he's stockpile. Got a, yeah, he's got his doors. Yeah. And... Oh, I see, I think I see a weaver sign. So, in that case, I could go get the weaver, his penthouse, <laughs> like... Maybe yeah, here? put it on the uh, yeah. put it on the uh, yeah that wall, just so that maybe I mean, this wall because the ladder's there. Like the the ladder. Through. Well, I was thinking put it like right between the two windows up here? high. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Carpenter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I love that they build ladders to put the stuff up. Right. Like it's like multi-purpose. Oh, and you're gonna have to move it. It's off center. That's okay. Okay. Click, click the ghost. Click yeah, the ghost. you're right. <laughs> oh, you can click the ghost. Yeah. I didn't realize that. And now you can move that. it. That's so right cool. Right there. Yeah. And then. Awesome. Nuke that oh. arrow window. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a bad thing. But yeah, we see those all the time. Oh, our civilization is a, and you can see it through the trees is um, looking pretty good, actually. Like, you've got the carpenter down here, and... Yeah, and one feature that we're gonna try to put in Alpha 6, I hope, is um, maybe Alpha 7, uh, roads. So you'll be able to define, you know, paths and paved roads and all that great stuff between your buildings. More pumpkins. More pumpkins. More pumpkins. You can't have too many. See, this is why I like the stockpile up there. Because they start adding food to the top, and food yeah. is super colorful, and like, you know. yeah. Really? You can never have too many lanterns. Okay, so they built the ladder, but someone still had to find the, the sign. They're still finding the sign. Yeah, they'll get Building there. Building the house. It's looking pretty picturesque. I admit, I'm a little nervous. Like, we haven't had any retribution for that goblin that we... That's yeah, don't worry about Dealt it. With. You showed him. You showed him, right? Like nothing could possibly ever <laughs> negatively happen as a result of that. Hmm. That was sarcasm. Just in case you can't see my face or tell. Well, we've got another lantern here. Is it a It's a garden lantern. Oh, oh yeah. maybe we can put it in our garden. Yeah, that would make way too much sense to not do. Like one here, down, right? one down, one, one down. down. Yeah. That's good. Perfect. Yeah. Alright, we want more flowers. Oh, there are some. Way, Way down there. there. Good amount. The rabbits are like, what is up with these people? He's gone. <laughs> He's gone, yeah. He does not like the spotlight. Alright, so we've got our three houses. One slightly more complex than the other. I think New Donner, South Donner Song is doing pretty good. Right. Well, that seems like an auspicious note to end on. Cool, so what's next from here basically is uh, more alphas for us. Mm -hmm. We're dividing our time between uh, keeping the game as stable as we can, we still have. Uh, ooh, can you zoom in on that uh, the Weaver sign that they just placed? Yeah. Yeah, the Weaver's penthouse is complete. Um, so fixing bugs is something that's sort of ongoing. That we always try to make the game more stable um, and perform better for you guys. Uh, and then beyond that, um, it's more feature development. You can follow our progress on our dev blog at StoneHearth.net. Uh, our next four major features that we're working on are mining roads. Uh, a more robust trading system and uh, progression so your little citizens will level up and gain new abilities. You can read about uh, that and uh, everything else we're doing uh, at our blog and participate in our forums if you want to hear more about the game. Uh, until next week, this is Tom and Stephanie signing off. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>